This is a podcast of the Nuffield Department of Medicine. Dr. Holm Ulig talks about the role of the immune system in our gastrointestinal tract. Hi Holm. Hi. What is the challenge of the immune system in our gastrointestinal tract? The gastrointestinal tract harbors a tremendous amount of uh, bacteria. In fact, there are tenfold more bacteria in the gastrointestinal tract than our cells in our, in our body. And in addition to this, there are viruses, there are fungi, there are parasites. And the task of the immune system is to maintain a very strong, a very effective uh, immune response towards pathogenic bacteria that can invade uh, the body, that can cause uh, tissue damage, while uh, maintain tolerance towards the majority of those uh, bacteria within the gut that we call commensals and that have a uh, function within the gut, within metabolism, and that have evolved with us uh, during evolution. What happens when these mechanisms don't work anymore? Uh, there are several possibilities that this can, can happen. So there could be uh, a change in the composition of the bacterial flora. There can be a uh, change in the epithelial lining, uh, disturbing the integrity of the, of the epithelium. Uh, there can be um, reduction in the f defense mechanisms of uh, immune cells. Or it could be a breakdown of the uh, tolerance uh, and the um, mechanisms that maintain um, a stable uh, immune homeostasis. And that could all lead to an increased load of bacteria entering uh, the body and uh, leading to an increased uh, immune response, uh, ultimately leading to uh, tissue destruction. And does this affect children as well as adults? Indeed it does. There are um, diseases called inflammatory bowel disease, which encomprises two uh, major groups uh, called Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. And about one-fifth of patients with uh, inflammatory bowel disease have first symptoms during uh, childhood or adolescence. What are the most important lines of research that have been developed over the last five to ten years? I think there has been a tremendous uh, revolution both in immunology and in genetics. And combining these uh, two areas is um, really an uh, exciting uh, field. So there are the, the changes in uh, the genetics now allow both to investigate the genome of humans to find genetic defects. Um, that would be to look for the needle in the haystack uh, that could be responsible for changes in our uh, immune response towards bacteria. And on the other hand, it allows to look for the composition of the bacterial flora and really to analyze a lot of bacteria that have never been cultured before. Why does your line of research matter? Why should we put money into it? Uh, we think that we can uh, improve treatment of uh, patients. Um, there are there is a burden of, of disease uh, for these uh, patients. They um, require surgery, they require uh, treatment with uh, immunosuppressive or anti-inflammatory uh, medication. And if we can understand the immune system and uh, how to deal with uh, the increased inflammatory response, if we can understand the immunodeficiency that goes um, along with some of those uh, diseases, then we can improve our treatment options. How does your research fit into translational medicine within the department? The translational gastroenterology unit, uh, headed by Fiona Pauri, uh, tries to be an umbrella uh, for several uh, investigators as well as uh, research groups. So there are um, basic uh, scientists, uh, biologists, biochemists, um, trying to understand uh, protein uh, function, protein-protein interactions, trying to understand cell-cell interactions at the um, 
club bench and uh, this spans to translational efforts trying to uh, to use these mechanisms at the uh, bedside and trying to uh, introduce new treatments options in clinical trials within the department. Thank you.